So we want to say that uh, we welcome you and we also welcome your grief and your anger. We don't want only your cheerful part or your nice part. Behind grief and anger, inside grief and anger, there are many marvelous golden eggs. And we'll also say that we know we're not here only for ourselves. We are here for young men from whom the world is becoming more dangerous every day. And we must not forget the grief of the young men, um, the young men in prison, the young men without fathers, without effective mothers. Nothing like this has ever happened in the history of the race, that there are so many young men without parents. And then we must remember that we're here also for the sake of the older men, who are becoming forgotten more each day. And the gifts that old men have given to every culture um, in the past that made men long to be older, long to be at that place where they could help younger men and, and younger women and feel the joy of that. More and more the culture is not asking them to do that. We are asking you to do that, to return again to a place where the young men will have someone uh, to go to and feel that interconnection of the generations, which is one of the most beautiful things that I've experienced in these meetings over 10 years. The beauty of having older men here and feeling the joy that the younger men feel in them. And then I, I must just say that for me, um, uh, I'm feeling uh, <coughs> a lot of grief still uh, for William Stafford, who died. Um, days ago, I think. And uh, some of you remember that he loved to come to these, and um, he would give his board readings and say those wonderful things, which one of his lines, I'd rather slime along than be heroic. <laughs> <laughs> he died, um, he was correcting proofs on a, a selected poems of his, which I had put together, and then he was very happy about that. And I said in the in the in the um, a book at, uh, in the introduction, I think Bill Stafford will be read more 100 years from now than he is now. And Bill said apparently, I can't wait. <laughs> 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 and he went in, into his study and he wrote a poem which mentioned sirens and ended with his mother's voice saying, "Whatever God gives, take it." And then he um, left a note on the desk saying, all my love. So he knew what was coming. It's typical of his modesty that he knew he was going to die and didn't bother to tell anyone. <laughs> didn't want to bother people. Then he walked into the kitchen to help his wife cook, and five minutes later he fell over with a massive heart attack and didn't say a word. So we're going to ask for his spirit to be here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks. And I thought of one of his stanzas. Uh, and so I, I call on that shadowy place, that imp remote, important region in all who talk. Though we can fool each other, we should consider, lest the parade of our mutual life get lost in the dark. <laughs> But we can fool each other, we should consider, lest the parade of our mutual life get lost in the dark. And I'll, I just miss him a lot. He was an elder to me. He was sober and centered in a way that I'm not. And I'm trying to learn from him. So, <clears throat> of 
Could we send a blessing to him? That he'll go off well. I only remember vaguely a, a line in um, William Stafford poems that shook me the first time I heard it. And he said that uh, the darkness around us is deep. <laughs> that the darkness around us is deep. I don't understand the details of that darkness. I can only feel it. Uh, see, being an African caught up in the turmoil of this postmodern culture, all I found myself uh, seeking day in and day out is truly a sense of home. Of course, uh, some people may say, well, but you have a village back there. Uh, why don't you stay there? My own elders have reiterated over and over each time I go home. There's no chance left for the indigenous world to survive. The only way it can live is in the heart and soul of the very culture that killed it. Mm. And so each time I find myself in a place that is no longer the, uh, the high rise and the freeways but a place populated by trees and waters, something that looks natural. That's what comes to my consciousness. Maybe the indigenous is trying again to figure out a way to be born. This is the journey to Bethlehem to be born. <laughs> Maybe this is it. And I tend to see in each one of you an old soul. Maybe this is the kind of home that I keep uh, keep looking for. Mm. If it comes in the form of a true community reason out of that desire to merge once again with nature and uh, to come into a state of reconciliation with ourselves so that finally our souls can sing the way Etheridge Knight says it. Mm -hmm. I think the home that perhaps I'm not yet it's the only one seeking the home that perhaps we're all seeking is going to be found. Because for some reason, I keep seeing in each one of you an exile, mm. someone who has been betrayed mm. profoundly, mm. and the gathering of people who are betrayed can yield tremendous healing, tremendous energy. And so hopefully, my ambition is that this become the gift that we offer to one another as we come here. Whether it means that this happened through opening our heart to one another or just our heart to ourselves, meaning that for a while we step off, step away from the brain and allow the heart and the soul to sing and think. Maybe that's, that's the way it's going to happen. But at least uh, I feel that uh, coming here is like going back to the village. Hmm. It may be ironic hmm. that outside of the village is a very sophisticated world asleep. But at least uh, the noise we're going to make here will be the noise of the ancestors mm. ringing the bell yes. the wake up the wake up bell yes. and if we could hold that maybe the spirit will call then to this evening can probably join and that's perhaps one of the greatest thing we can do to us to the nature that surrounds us and perhaps to the mm. world we're going to have to return to at the end of this week. See. <clears throat> For it is important that awake people be awake. Mm -hmm. Breaking line may discourage them back to sleep. Mm -hmm. The signals we give, yes or no, or maybe, should be clear. The darkness around us is deep. Mm -hmm.
Oh, yes. Right there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm.